The big insight at Crayola was all about how do you spark the creative spirit in a child? And I think creativity, it has to be experienced. So Crayola is here at the Toy Fair. The 111th Annual International Toy Fair. We're bringing the classic Crayola products and showing people how to use them in new and unique ways. I'm carving a tiny Statue of Liberty with a seafoam green crayon. Mine drawing using Crayola chalk. I'm going to pour many, many, many layers of their marvelous acrylic paint. I find a a great connection when I work with my hands. There's a bond that's created with handiwork. For me, it's about restraint. I just want to throw every single color in the rainbow on that canvas. There are no rules. I make the rules as I go. You can do that. It's wild to see kids come up to it, talk about it, and really get involved in it. Someone was saying it's kind of like clouds. I see a dog. Looking at clouds and seeing shapes of clouds. Different people see different things. And it's just all about the imagination. Using your imagination. The message is to just enjoy color. Color. How do I look in color? These colors are magnificent. Look how beautiful. You're never too old to color. Since kiddos learn through creative play, I'm just falling in love with Crayola all over again. There's no other company like Crayola. You know that, right? When I see Crayola, I kind of light up. I started with eight Crayola crayons, and then I went on to get a BFA in art from Pratt Institute. So that's how Crayola assisted me. They make the best products for kids and working with them for helping to create what they have in their imagination. That is really important for childhood. I like Crayola as a brand. I'm not just working with material, I'm working with an icon. Our brand is all about that experience that we give the kids. The kids, they just know what to do. But if you can give them the tools, that's how you sort of unleash that creativity in a child.